have a Copic marker tip for you. You pay a lot of money for your markers, so you want to be sure you're using the right inks so you don't trash your tips. You can buy a new nib, but let's face it, new nibs, less markers, I'd rather have more markers. So I've got here two inks to show you. This one is Memento ink. This is recommended to use with Copic markers. The other is a water-based ink, and I'm gonna show you the difference of what happens when you work with the right ink and the wrong ink. I have here two different inks that I've stamped out. This is Memento Tuxedo Black, recommended for Copic markers, and the other is a water-based ink. Today I'm using a pale ink, so you can, a pale marker, so you can see what happens. This is B60. When I saturate the paper, you can watch the colour bleed through the ink to the other side of this stamped image. And this is how you test your markers and your computer ink as well. And when that blue comes out the other side, it's coming out clean. It's not dragging any of the ink with it. If you run a test and the ink starts to bleed through, that's going to wreck the nib of your marker. So I'm going to show you what will happen on a water-based ink. And I'm not going to touch it with the actual nib. I'm just soaking the paper and watching it flow through the ink and already I can see that it's starting to drag some of that brown ink with it. So now you know a water-based ink pad, it's not going to work with your Copic markers. Okay, so sometimes you might want to stamp a greeting on your card and you want it to coordinate but you don't have the right colour ink pad. It's all, you, know, you can't run down to the shop at midnight, it just doesn't happen that way. So I'm going to show you how you can actually ink up your stamp with your Copic marker and get a lovely printed greeting that matches perfectly. What you need is a stamp. First off, I'm using a beautiful greeting from the Whimsical Words Darkroom Door set. It says smile, which I think is beautiful for a card. I've actually got that on a, an acrylic block and I'm just going to colour over the top with my brush tip and ink up that, uh, that stamp. Now, this is drying as fast as I'm putting it down. So you might be wondering, oh, if it's drying, what do we do? Well, it's very simple. You need your zero colourless blender on your Expressit cardstock. And what you're going to do is colour, prime up the paper in your zero colourless blender in the area that your stamp is going to take. And you need to work a bit quickly. When you stamp it and the Copic marker ink hits that colourless blender, it will be rehydrated and you are left with a perfect coordinating image to match the image that you just coloured in. So there's a couple of tips so that you can get the most out of your Copic markers. Thank you for watching. See you next time.